Gotcha. Great. Can we go back now? I thought you wanted to learn how to catch a fish, Lo. That was before I knew how boring it would be. You said hunting was exciting. Come on, let's... Perhaps today won't be such a washout after all. We didn't come out here to fight monsters. You know how dangerous they can be. What are they doing? Who knows? Probably their idea of fun. Freaks, why don't they go back to whichever arse... I wouldn't have put it quite like that, but you're right. The world was certainly a better place without them. People lived in cities once, drove cars, made love, had kids, put down roots. Not like now. Too scared to stay in one place for more than a month. Well, we could do without this so close to the camp. We'll have to go around them. Warn the others that... Lo? Not again. Lo! Lo! Great! I don't know where your impulsive streak comes from. Your mother's side, most probably. The camp is safe, isn't it? That isn't the point. It's dangerous to... You're back. We'll talk about this later. Hello, Pepper. Did you miss us? I've been digging for things from the old times. Look what I found. That's great, Pepper. Dex said he saw a ruined house down by the meadow. I'm going to go and look for it. Pepper, don't go too far. Go and keep an eye on your sister, Lo. Why should I do it? You're a father. Just go, will you? Fine. Whatever. Yes, master. Definitely from Martha's side. Who's there? Lo? Lo, I know it's you. I'm not scared, you know. Pepper! Come on, Pepper! I've got things I want to do. Stay there, and this time, do as you're told. But there was someone in the woods who... But what's going on? I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going, Lo? Lo, where are we going? What I never understood is what Dad used to say about how they all just appeared one day. How could monsters just appear? Because I've read about the dinosaurs and stuff, and things don't just appear. They... they revolve. Evolve? Revolve is when something spins around. Wait here. Why do I always have to stay behind? I want to kill monsters too. Do as I say.
I told you to stay behind. Yes, but I ignored you. Oh, you'll be the death of me, Pepper. Hold on to your underwear, ladies. A guy with a ten-ton gun is in town. Who the hell are you? Your backup. Name's Scout. I don't need backup. I'm doing fine on my own, thanks. Many guns make light work, my young friend. Whatever. Just don't get in my way. You won't even know I'm here. Eat explosive death, you green perversions of nature. Of course, this is all completely pointless. What do you mean? Ever get the feeling you've killed the same monster more than once? What? You never noticed how they seem to regenerate? How you kill them and they come back to life, say a few days later? That's impossible. I know their secret. You want in? Is this some sort of joke? Do you see me laughing? We saved your village. Perhaps you would like to reward us. Some wine, perhaps. A night with your daughters. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready for what? For that. Same every time. You idiots. Who's going to protect us when they come back? Get out of our village. What's left of it? You destroyed my barn. I had three cows in there. Go on, get out. I can't believe they treated us like that. You get used to it. People just don't know what's good for them. Tell me about the monsters. You said they, what was it, regenerate? How? See that machine there, Garden? That's how. What is it? Help me steal it, and I'll show you what you can do with it. Just walks into the camp and steal it? Are you insane? It has been suggested. No. Stop interrupting. What do you want? My feet hurt. Sorry, I get hate feet. This place is scary. Don't worry, honey. Everyone in these carmobiles is dead. You say this caraway can help us figure out how the thing works? Probably. Probably? We've been pulling this damn machine for five days. I hope this is worth the effort. Trust me, caraway and I go way back. She's a science witch. If she can't figure out how this thing works, nobody can. That isn't very reassuring. I'm cold. We're all cold. But I can't feel my head, I'm so cold. Company.
hot scallion old bean? Eat a hand? Ward Ward, you tin-ass gold rascal. What is that? That? How dare you, sir? I'm an individual. Ward Ward is Caraway's bodyguard. <laughs> He's funny. Thank you for that assessment, young lady. Now, if we can all just get to the end of the valley, we should be safe. Even the rude young man with the big nose. Is it talking about me? Are you talking about me? What the hell is this place? The locals call it the Valley of a Thousand Screams, but inbred primitives always did have a tendency for melodrama. I call it home. Hey, Caraway, it's been too long. Wardwarf, patrol the perimeter. Right home, missus. Is this what I think it is? Neat. Can you work it? Hmm, I reckon so. That's the memory purged, and... And that's it, primed for a new template. Scallion, touch the machine. Whatever you say, babes. You... you killed him! Ah, oh, he'll be fine. Fine. He's got a hole in his head the size of my fist. Bandits at 12 o'clock, what, what? Great. That means we've got half an hour to kill. <laughs> oh, have a sense of humor. Okay, both of you, touch the machine. You too, Wardwolf. Where is he? What was I drinking last night? You never could handle a hangover, Scallion. This is the General and his daughter, Peace. They're staying here until the weather improves. Hello. Uh, hi. Saw you fighting. Some nice moves. I think you're in there. Hey, enough! We're going to have to move out, General. The monsters know we're here now. Plus, Scallion kind of borrowed something off them that they'll do anything to get back. The immortality engine. God help us. You know about it? With this on our side, we could... I think we should go now. Who the hell is that? We can't thank you enough. What's your name, stranger? Stranger will do. Ooh, check out Mr. Mysterious. Why don't you just call yourself the Nameless Enigma and be done with it? Hey, leave the guy alone. Maybe his real name is something really embarrassing, like uh, Quentin or Jeffrey. No, it's him. The one from the night Dad died. What? You sure? So what kind of rockets were they? They certainly are big. Uh, gentlemen, if we've all finished comparing our phallic symbols, could we... I'll kill you. Crikey, it's all kicking off. Scallion, stop him. Who? Low or the stranger? Low, of course. Come on, buddy. You can murder him up later. 
But he hurt Pepper. He... He didn't hurt me. Not really. He just sort of scared me. I thought he was a boogly woogly. I'll deal with you later, scum. Juvenile. Please stop. This won't help us. Please, Lo. Come on, pal. Leave the boogly woogly alone. Pleased to meet you too. I say we recruit who we can, and and I say we keep it just us. He's right. The fewer people who know about the machine, the better. Power corrupts, right, General? <laughs> Call a nature beckons. Do you have a problem, Lo? You know I do. This isn't helping us, boy. Perhaps we ought to settle it. Perhaps we should. Oh, you boys, what are you like? That's enough. I'm not gonna kill you, Lo. You and I are more alike than you could ever imagine. Go to hell! I'm nothing like you! That's better. Yeah, did I miss anything cool? Any for them? It's the others. They just don't care what I have to say. My dad's always been like that. But it's not just him. It's all of them. Even Scallion. They think I'm just a boy. And what's so bad about being a boy? You can have lots more fun when nobody takes you seriously. What are you doing? Nothing. Checking she was okay. Oddball. It was strictly need to know, but I heard that a team of archaeologists dug it up somewhere in what was Africa. Of course, that was a century or so before my time, even. And the monsters? Your guess is as good as mine. I think we ought to get moving. I guess I just want Pepper to be safe. That's what you're doing, isn't it? Making the world safe. I suppose. Look, I'm sorry. We shouldn't get involved like this. Not with things how they are. But Lo, I thought you... of the cheeky buggers. They want the machine back, so I say we give it to them with a few modifications. Give it back to them? With what modifications? Built-in egg timer? A suit press? 
Trust me. Trust you? Trust someone who hides in bushes waiting to pounce on passing kids? Shut up, Lair. It's getting boring. We need to get to the far side of the continent. There's an island that the monsters consider, well, their spiritual home, shall we say. Wait. The far side? That'll take months. And that's if the weather's on our side. This isn't like we can hop on a bus, man. Well, we'd better get moving, then. She's pregnant. <laughs> Granddad. You animal! Hey man, it wasn't me! Leave him alone! It was me! I'm the father, I think. What? Does that make me an auntie? You should have showed them logs who's boss. How you feel? I've been thinking. We've been using this machine for over nine months now. What do you think it's doing to us? Well, I can normally tell if something's up by my, uh, plumbing. And you can rest assured that I'm still as regular like clockwork first thing every morning. Yeah, one time I had this cold, and I was so gummed up I... Oh, please. Too much information, Scallion. I'm only human. Don't act like you ain't got a backside. Okay, well, if not us, what about peace? What is this machine doing to the baby? Do you want to feel the baby kicking? Can I? Of course you can. Hey guys, how'd the hunting party go? Find us anything nice to eat? Run, you damn fool! What's all the noise?
I've just had the most amazing idea. This is the most stupid thing you have ever done. Which bit is stupid, hun? You know, the whole hanging over the edge of the dam to plant explosives bit? It's suicide. Only if I get killed. No! I believe my reactor housing sustained a direct hit in the battle. I appear to be leaking coolant. Which means what, exactly? I'm afraid I'm about to explode. What? Sorry, old boy. If it's any consolation, I know how you're feeling. We made it then. Yep, we made it. We'll move out in the morning by boat. <sighs> Do you want to hold him? Will he, you know, crap on me? Hello, little fella. I thought I'd call him Hope. Hello, Hope. Got it. I think I got it working. Oh, maybe I haven't. Moonlight stroll. I've let too many people die. I'm going to end this.
Who are you? You don't know yet. Look at me, Lo. I'm you. That's impossible. I'm from the future. Well, one possible future. I was sent here to put things right. By who? By those who created the Infinity Engine. They're unhappy that their creation has been abused. That it has opened a Pandora's box that has let those monsters get a foothold on this planet. This planet? Oh, God, this is too much. I can't take this in. I, I don't do cosmic concepts very well, you know. When I was a kid, books were just something to scribble in. The engine is a device for manipulating reality on a quantum level. Time, space, the size of your boots. My boots? Ow! Don't try and follow me, Lo. It's a one-way trip. But I have nothing left to live for! You have a baby. Please, let me come. You can't do this alone. He's right. We're all coming, Lo. Okay. Can you fix my boots, please? So, you're really from the future? Uh-huh. So, in the future, do I... Whatever you're about to ask me, I'm not gonna answer it. What's the plan? I'm going to erase the monsters from the planet. Oh, is that all? We need to reach the energy source that's located beneath the towers. It acts as an anchor, keeping it here in this universe. If we destroy the energy source, the creatures will be absorbed back into their own reality. I liked it better when I understood what's happening. One for the road.
wonder what caused that. have been this guy? I can't explain it. I died, but somehow he put everything right. Have you had any luck? With Papa, I mean? Not since six months ago, when I found the grave empty. <laughs> Will you quit doing that? Doing what? <laughs> so now what? I keep looking. She's out there somewhere. Take care, Lo. I will. Look after him. He'll be fine. Gotcha. 